हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू जर्नी ऑन पीएलसी सो इन दिस जर्नी यू विल बी लर्निंग पीएलसी आई मेड दिस कोर्स फॉर बिगनियर्स सो इफ यू आर अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट और अ स्टार्टिंग प्रोफेशनल इन ऑटोमेशन और इवन यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन दिस कोर्स विल हेल्प यू टू डेवलप सम स्किल्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी एन इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो ऑफ द कोर्स so in this video i am going to let you know that what topics which we are going to cover in this uh, course and also uh, we are going to know about what plc is and uh, more facts about plc so without wasting any time let's start so what exactly is a plc so plc stands for programmable logic controller and it's an industrial automation device so you can also understand plc by this plc is basically a general purpose computer which takes input and give command as an output and you create lot different logics in the computer basically it's the processor or you can say brain so plc so from this you can uh, imagine the components which are in the plc so before going further let's go through some historical background how plc came in the picture before plc industry used to use relay based system so who do, who those are not familiar with relay based system basically uh, a relay is a electromagnetic device a uh, electromagnetic switch so it's like this okay and you can energize this switch to operate the relay either it's on or off uh, according to you okay but there was a problem a very big problem the problem was rewire it was like if you want to improve your system or upgrade your system you have to rewire the whole system from scratch mostly or you have to do a ton of wiring so it required a lot of time lot of manpower and this process was not flexible so to counter this plc came into picture in plc the rewiring term was replaced by reprogramming or you can say programming so instead of rewire the system you just have to get your laptop connected to the plc and just reprogram the system that's all you have to do in the plc okay so we are done with the plc historical background let's go through its uh, components so plc has three major component first is input output module second is power unit and third is processor or you can say cpu so first of all we will go through the power unit the power given to plc can vary from 120 volt to 240 volt ac and there will be a smps switch mode power supply available in the plc which will convert this supply to 24 volt dc or there are plc which you have to supply this 24 volt externally moving to our second component which is cpu CPU is basically brain of the PLC in which all the logic is made and executed moving to the next component which is input output uh, modules if you imagine this is a PLC okay and the input there is an input and there is an output the input will be as a human being we have senses the plc also will have sensors like sensor temperature sensor humidity sensor or different type of sensor it can have so the sensors will give the input to the plc and with the help of cpu it will execute the logic which is give, uh, which is programmed in the plc and it will give it to the actuators which will act as an output command actuator can be a robotic arm any motor driver anything so now we covered the components of plc let's go through a simple example let's imagine this is a conveyor belt 
conveyor belt where there are multiple boxes. And there is a robotic arm here. Okay. And there is a sensor. And this is our PLC unit. This will be like this. This will be into to this. Okay. So as soon as this sensor detects any object, it sends command as an input to the PLC. PLC processes that command according to its logic send the signal or command as an output to the actuator here which is robotic arm. So the, uh, the command might be to pick up the object and put it somewhere else like there will be a different conveyor going on this way. So it will put up the uh, box and put it, put it down here. So this is a basic example for how PLC works. So now come to the interesting part which is PLC programming. So PLC programming uses different languages and there are multiple languages available. So um, the most famous language uses ladder logic. And we are going to learn this language in our future videos. Then we have the second language, we have a structured text. Then we also have functional block diagram. We have SFC, sequence frequential charts. So these are the main languages used in PLC programming and, and for our upcoming video, we are going to program the PLC using the ladder logic language. So let's also go through some uh, softwares and the hardware which is available in the market. The major players in the PLC are Siemens, Allen Bradley, we have Mitsubishi, we have Delta. So these are the major brands or you can say companies which produce PLC. The Siemens has a TI portal. The Allen Bradley mostly uses RS logics. Mitsubishi uses GX works. And Delta uses ISP soft. So these are the list of softwares. And for our video, we are going to use ISP soft. And the RS logics and ISP soft are free softwares. So, okay, so this was all about the introduction and we have completed our PLC introduction here. We have covered what PLC is. We have covered the point, the components of PLC. We have covered a historical background. We have also covered programming languages of PLC and the last but not the least we have covered software and hardware brands of the PLC. So the, in the upcoming video, we are going to cover the wiring of the PLC, which is one of the most important topic in PLC. So that's all for this video and I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned and like, share and subscribe to keep updated yourself with the PLC and the course.